these lights, bro. All these lights. I've become what I told myself I wouldn't be. And that is Bella Swan. But look at me. She will be proud. So. Yo, it's Nat and I'm back with another video. This video is long overdue and I mean like long overdue, like two months overdue. But that is because, I mean I really don't have to explain why I haven't been uploading content, but if you don't know, I am currently, I am in college. I am a college student and college is very rigorous and time consuming. so. Hence why I haven't been uploading um, as usual. So, but I'm here now, and that's what matters the most. So, this video is going to be a simple August and September uh, wrap up because I read one book in August that I haven't posted a review or rant on my channel about, and then I turned around and read two in September. I've tried a number of times to record an August wrap-up video and a September wrap-up video um, between like those two months it is now October and like it's been a number of times where I try to sit down and record the video and I just wasn't feeling it or I just been so busy and it was just like in the back of my mind I'm thinking sis you still need to record a video about these three books that you've read but I'm here so let's get to it the book that I read in August is The Love Interest by um, K.L. Dietrich. Um, it's a spy fiction, LGBTQ um, friendly, and I hadn't realized that it was um, an LGBTQ book until I started reading it. Um, and I just couldn't put it down after that. I was like, okay, I like this. I like this a lot. Um, it's like your typical um, bad guy versus the good guy, enemies to lovers trope and it's also like coming to terms with your sexuality um despite the labels of society and societal norms um and i i, I loved it i i believe on goodreads i gave it a i think a four star rating simply because um the genre is spy fiction, but I felt like the author could have done better with, I guess, at incorporating more aspects of um, this, like the spy genre and um, the agency that the love interests come from. Honestly, I would love to see a novella that is more centered around the spy organization and like the origin story of like the events that happened prior to this book. But it was a great read. And it was a bit slow in the beginning, I'm not gonna lie, but once it hit like that point where it was like, oh, so okay, then I was like, I couldn't put it down. Second book that I read that I started the end of August and finished September is Silver Sparrow by Tayari Jones. I have already read a book written by her. It was an American Marriage. I already posted a book review on my channel of that book. So if you're interested, check it out. Um, but after reading American Marriage, I was like, I need to read more books by Tayari Jones because like an American Marriage was like the book for me this year so far. Um, and I felt as though she wouldn't disappoint me with this. And she did not. She did not disappoint me with um, Silver Sparrow at all. Uh, I take that back. <laughs> um, but Silver Sparrow is a um, domestic fiction. Um, it's basically about narrative literature where women flourish um, during the mid 19th century. It has tropes of like rivalry, rivalry and connections of um, siblings, the meaning of beauty, um, of course, womanhood and romantic relationships. Now, as I said before, the book didn't disappoint me, but, 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 the ending no 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 that's not how <laughs> no and on that note i'm gonna move on to the next book because i don't want to spoil it for you so, but i gave this i believe i gave this book a four and a half stars 
can you do half stars no i don't think you can do half stars on goodreads wow i think i gave it a four star rating on goodreads um but i would give it a four and a half stars um i'm just still like i'm i'm really upset about the ending yeah okay and last but certainly not least the second book that i read in september definitely like changed my perspectives on um interracial relationships and like friendships romantic relationships and just making sure that everyone around you is happy with who you are who is tied to you um your roots and where you're coming from and then making sure that you're also happy as well even though your happiness may lie with something or someone that's going against the grain and that is frankly in love by david yoon i got this book this book was gifted to me by a friend um it came out i got this book two days after it came out so i was gifted it on september 12th i was actually like on campus chilling this my school was having a back to school barbecue and my friend he was like i got this book for you and i was happy and I was chilling I decided to check Twitter real quick you know to see like you know what's going on about um, the debut of frankly in love and everything so I did and I went to David Yoon's um, Twitter account and I saw that he was on a book tour I was like oh that's really cool <laughs> so he was coming to DC right to East City bookshop um, bookstore which is over at Capitol Hill area, closest metro uh, metro station is Eastern Market, and I've been to that bookstore a number of times, and I saw that he was coming to DC to that bookstore on the day that I had got the book, which was September twelfth at six thirty, and I checked the time. I was like, oh my gosh, I could definitely make that. And so I did, and I met him, and um, it was a nice group of us that stayed to asked him some questions and had an um, interviewer ask some questions about the book and everything and it was nice i also got my book signed so that was that was great and i be, I, I honestly do believe that that was probably one of the first times in a long time that i've met an author and i got a book signed i can't remember the last time that has happened to me like without buying a copy that was already signed so that was a great experience i was really nervous i was like oh my gosh so yeah but it was it was fun and i like i really would like to do more um book related things like that but your girl needs time that's why 2020 i'm gonna make it my mission to go to book con in new york by all means i'm gonna save my money and make a way but i gave this book a five star rating on goodreads if i'm not mistaken um, it took me two weeks to read it because I was just that devoted to reading this and oh my gosh wait the stained edges yes the stained edges this book is just it's so beautiful I'm gonna insert a picture that I took of this book with my phone because it was just that beautiful so yeah but um I cried the ending made me cry and the ending oh my gosh it was so fulfilling it was like okay that's how it should happen like it wasn't something that was like oh really why why this ending but it was so fulfilling it was the perfect way to end the novel and i cannot wait to read more from david yoon i also have one of his wife's books um the sun is also a star i read that didn't see the movie kind of disappointed but you know um and with the sun is also a star the characters fall in love with one in one day with this it's like the characters here are it's like the fake dating trope and everything um and of course you know they eventually really fall in love and i yeah it's it was the perfect friend to lover type of read you know where it's like oh my gosh i think i might have loved her or him my entire life and just hadn't known it so but yeah thank you david thoroughly enjoyed this for september so and there you have it folks my august and september read wrap up sorry it took me so long to get this video done but you girl has been busy i will be putting on another video i am going to do a october read video 
it's only going to be two books that I'm reading because I'm having to read other stuff for my classes and for class assignments. So, um, yeah. So it's only going to be two books I'm reading for October. But I am going to have another video idea for the month of October. It's just not. It's going to be book related, but not really. So that's one thing you all for watching. It's been real coming back to the nook. You know, got all these lights and I'm just I'm, I'm shining and you know. But, um, so I guess, no, I, I don't guess. I know, I know for a fact that I will see you in the nook next time. Bye, guys.